SBRT stands for Stereotactic Body Radiotherapy. And what that does is it's a very advanced method of delivering the radiation where we do very precise treatments targeted just to the tumor itself very accurately. We're delivering an, enough dose per fraction that pretty much whatever we hit is going to be ablated. Um, and it's usually done with just a couple of treatments, anywhere from three to five treatments or so. That's very different than what we would think of when we're talking about conventional radiation. So if you've ever heard about people getting radiation for breast cancer, for rectal cancers, or for some of these other common cancers, it's a very different approach. We're talking about doing treatments that take anywhere from five to seven weeks frequently. And one of the reasons for that, that it's so different, is that with those type of treatments, we're actually trying to cover not only the tumor itself, but also the potential for microscopic disease, cells that exist that we can't even see. Um, and so we're treating areas that are at risk in that scenario. And that generally means that we end up treating much larger volumes of tissue. Um, because of that, we end up having to do treatments that are delivered very gently, slowly, where we give a little bit of radiation every day, enough that it basically is killing off cancer cells slowly day by day, but that allows some of the normal tissues to recover in between each fraction. We're not trying to do that at all when we're doing SBRT. In this setting, we're not trying to control microscopic disease. We're not trying to let any tissues recover at all. We're actually trying to, again, just ablate whatever we hit. Um, and doing that forces us to be very precise, um, and it forces us to rely very heavily on technology and imaging, things that didn't historically exist, you know, more than 10 or 15 years ago. SBRT, it really started developing in the 1990s, and one of the reasons it started being able to be utilized was that we had advances not only in the treatment technology itself, um, but also in the imaging capabilities, the quality of the imaging, and even our treatment algorithms, how we actually do the calculations to deliver these type of treatments. And because of that, uh, it's something that, again, developed around that time frame and has really taken off since around the year 2000 or so. So the past decade is when it's really become very popular, partly because it's such a well-tolerated and, and effective treatment.